Praise the Lord. I don't know what your uh, holidays were like or your days have been like, but man, my recent days have been like just taking the time and God telling me to make the time to clean house and do like a fall cleaning like most people do in the spring because it seems like accumulated a bunch of junk and just kind of need to get rid of it you know get it out of my hair and get it away from here and get it out there somewhere that uh, to be able to spend the time to post to write to do those things that God puts upon my heart you know to share with other people that likewise look forward to the soon return of Jesus you know that we might be able to express the joy that we have and the confidence that though it may not happen this year and it definitely won't be in 2012 we know that the end is near and that we live in these such exciting times that things are coming together and we look and see that Jesus will be here soon can't you wait isn't that exciting isn't that just kind of like knock your socks off to think about wow I'm going to see Jesus I'm going to see him face to face cool <laughs> I'm excited are you in daily light today let us lift up our hearts with our hands unto God in the heavens who is like unto the Lord our God who dwelleth on high who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. I stretch forth my hands unto you. My soul thirsts after you as a thirsty lamb. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down to the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive, and plenteous unto, in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do. Have you ever realized just how much and how powerful that is, that God would forgive you and cleanse you and make you righteous before himself? because of what his son has done for you my god what an amazing accomplishment that is when you think of how sinful you are and i am i mean it's so easy to get tripped up and it's so easy to fall down but how hard is it to turn around and look and see that god is there that he's been watching all along that he cares and he has something for you today to be revealed in you and to touch other people's lives as you not only are finding out what he is like, but he's using you to show others what you are like. Are you likened unto God? May it be so this day, even as you study and learn how to walk with him in his way. Watchmen, what of the night? It is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is nigh. So likewise, when you shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass. I wait for the Lord. My soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say, more than they that watch for the morning. He which testifies these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Watch, for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. As I posted on the web a questionnaire and I got back these responses that no man knows the day or the hour, I wanted to cry out to these people that kept saying, well, we don't know when, we don't know, so we don't care, to say, look, it's not a question of just saying, oh, well, since we don't know, we don't care to look to see that this could be the day or the hour, but rather we know the times and the seasons because we have been told to look for those things. He says, 
you know the weather. You can tell the weather patterns. How can you not know when the Son of Man is about to return? And that's the point now. We are in the last days. We're in the last generation. We know that. That's a fact. Israel's born. We are it. Now, when that will happen, how soon or how far is like labor pains? Oh, sure, there's been people who have come up and said, oh, this is the year. And they were wrong. And we saw it and we wept because why? Because then those people who don't know, who think, oh, well, you know, I don't believe anymore because those people were wrong, so now I don't believe anyone. Guess what? Jesus said these would happen. They'd be like labor pains that when they come upon you, how do you know that it's not gas? Well, at first, if you've never had a baby, guess what? It feels like a labor pain, but it's just gas. And then the next time you feel it, you go, ooh, that's more real. Ooh, that's more real. Ooh, that's more real. And then one day, the water bursts. And there's no doubt when the water breaks, is there? You see, not all things have come together yet, but they're soon, and they will happen. And as soon as this idea of 2012, with everybody panicking and worried about the Mayan calendar, the in Aztec calendar, or the Incan calendar, or the combination of what it is, and all these collisions of planets, and collusions of ideas, and all these ramifications of people wanting to make a certain day die down. Guess what? The Lord says, Behold, I come quickly. I will let you know. I, if you're seeking the Lord, will declare, Behold, the bridegroom coming. Go ye out to meet him. And what do you think? Will you be listening? Or will you be busy? Start now. Take today to fall clean, to clean out your house, to clean out the things in your life that are hindering you and stopping you from having a relationship with Jesus today, to stopping you from hearing his voice, to stopping you from possibly being more aware of him than aware of all the things that you need to do today. Because today, I think the Lord was saying, I will wait on the Lord. Yea, my soul waits on thee, O Lord. Will you wait for him today? Are you watching? Are you ready? I don't think it'll be this year. And I know it won't be 2012. But any time after that, I would say you had better have all your ducks in order, your house in order, because behold, the bridegroom coming.